Hi, Dr. John Lipman from the Atlanta Fibroid Center. I want to talk about another question that patients often uh, ask me in the office. Uh, a common clinical scenario is a patient, say in their 30s or 40s, suffering with symptomatic fibroids, and the patient says, I was given just two options, either just kind of live with the symptoms or have a hysterectomy. It was very confusing. It was like all or none. It, and it was very odd to the patient because either you just kind of live with it, not really doing anything, um, kind of watchful waiting every year going to their gynecologist and repeating an ultrasound and seeing the size of the fibroids or a complete hysterectomy. It was like almost doing nothing to removing everything. How could that be? How could there be there must be something in between. And so they continue to do their research and lo and behold, of course there is something in between, something that's completely non-surgical and outpatient, something that takes care of all of the fibroids. And it does so with a patient coming in and leaving the same day with a Band-Aid. That obviously is the UFE procedure, but unfortunately most women struggling with fibroids never hear of that option, despite the fact that I've been doing it here in Atlanta for the past 25 years, um, and it's available throughout the country. So this is a procedure that interventional radiologists do, and so the patient has to know to go to an experienced interventional radiologist to talk about their symptoms, to see if they're a candidate for this outstanding procedure. Almost any woman who has been told she has to have surgery for her fibroids is a candidate for UFE, so that's great. Almost everybody qualifies, but it's really important to have a consultation with an experienced interventional radiologist and to obtain a pelvic MRI to see precisely what's going on in the uterus. Almost everybody that is struggling with fibroids has had an ultrasound with their gynecologist, but the ultrasound underestimates the fibroid burden, and it's really important to get an MRI they are very similarly, similarly priced now. They used to be the MRI was a lot more expensive, but now they're very similar in cost. So that's actually a good thing that they're comparably priced. So patients aren't spending a lot more money for the MRI, despite the fact that the MRI is a much better imaging tool. So it's really important to know that there is an option that doesn't require any surgery whatsoever. So you get the relief of symptoms that you're looking for. The success for UFE in my hands is over 90%. So you get the relief of symptoms, that's important. You avoid the risks and long recovery of an operation. The recovery for the UFE procedure is around five or six days. Patients are back to work by a week versus two months or more with surgery. And thirdly, and maybe most importantly, Women are allowed to keep their uterus and not lose it. I understand for a lot of my patients, they're not interested in fertility, but your uterus is still really important to you as a woman. It's important for you psychologically. It's important for you sexually. It's important for bone health. A lot of women after hysterectomy lose a lot of bone stock. A lot of women leak urine after hysterectomy. The bottom line is, Fibroids are benign tumors. There is no reason in the world that we have to do an amputation, hysterectomy, for benign disease. So if you're struggling with symptomatic uterine fibroids, make sure you know about UFE.